Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can make a fountain particle system in Unity. The particle system will be low poly but this should still help you realize how to make the shape of the particle. I'm gonna start off by creating a new particle system and I'm gonna rename it to fountain particle system. Since I'm making a low poly one I always like to go down to renderer and change the material to a sprites default. Okay, so first thing I like to do is go to shape and change the cone uh, to be much um, tighter. So you want the starting position to be very tight and then a bit wider at the top right here. Okay, again, so in the first menu right here, we're going to change the start speed to around three. And I always like to put the start size and start rotation to a random value so go right uh, go to the right here where this is where there's a little arrow here click it and random between two constants and now you can put this to something like 0 0.3 and 0 0.7 you see you'll get a uh, lot small, smaller uh, particles some are small some are big which is pretty cool also for the rotation i always like to go random between between two constants and change that to zero, uh, to 0 and 360 so they could be rotated in any direction that looks fine but we still are not nowhere near close where we want it to be let's go to emission and I will change the rate over time to around 20 so we have a bit more should look better then we are already adjusted the shape but the thing we need is force over lifetime and if you change it, if you change this to a positive number, you will you see it goes in just a weird direction. But if you change it to a negative number, something like zero point, uh, I mean uh, minus three, you see it goes in the other direction. But uh, it's doing it on the local axis, in the local space actually. And um, you just want to change this to world then, and you'll see it just going down now. To fix this problem that we have, just go to shape and make this cone taller much taller actually maybe not that tall you see it kind of goes up and then side that's what we want now let's uh, add some more modifiers let's use color of a lifetime I was like that my particles fade out so go to the last alpha mode here and just put that to zero that will make it so they're trans transparent at the end as you can see and then change the color of that to a light color something like this and change the starting color to a bit darker I was also like to add add another color here and put the alpha all the way up and then change the color again to a bit lighter you will get this result which I think is pretty cool because the particles that are kind of falling off are uh, fading out and are a lighter color. For this particle system I also like to use size over lifetime. You see in the if we just enable it the particles grow from small to big but we want to um, go from big to small. So if you click on this axis right here Yours might not be visible, yours might, might be down here, so just take it, drag it up, and you'll get your um, axis. If you just click on, on the pre one of the prefabs right here, that seems fine, but I also like to add another point right here, and make it around here, so the particles that are falling off are only getting smaller, and then also take this up. So this is the size of the particles uh, that are falling. Something like this seems good. So that is all the modifiers we need. We just now need to adjust it so it looks better. I'll go to shape and make this cone a bit smaller. See if that works. Then I'll make the cone tighter at the beginning. And at the top. Something like this. I'll also go to here and change the gravity modifier to something like 0 0.05. So they're falling much quicker or earlier actually and you can see that the lifetime of the particle is a bit too long so we'll go here and change the lifetime to like three 
Obviously, this would all look better with more particles. So, increase the number of particles looks much better. And if we go ahead and maybe change the force over lifetime to a bit bigger. And I think this is looking pretty nice, except again, shape should be very tight at the beginning. And then a bit wider at the top. Something like this. I think this is a pretty cool founding system for beginners because it's very easy. It doesn't look the best, obviously, as you can see, but I think still is pretty cool for like some small project. And that's it for this video, obviously. And uh, if this helped you, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.